What is up guys and what's new in tech? Windows 10 is new. First off, let me be the first to say that Windows 10 is not all that terrible. Being the successor to Windows 8, a lot of things have changed visually and on the software side. And also, don't ask me why they're calling it Windows 10 instead of 9. Had something to do with legacy code. But with over a million users already downloading the technical preview, Microsoft has to be doing something right. So here's my impressions video. Right off the bat you can notice that this is much more flatter and elegant looking. But this time around, Microsoft has given us back the start button. And when you click it, it doesn't take you to the metro layout. Instead, Microsoft has decided to include all of your live tiles right into the start menu. But not only that, you can also personalize them making them smaller or larger thus making the panel wider or taller. And wait, there's more. You can also change the color of your star panel by right clicking inside and going into the personalize, which is a great touch. Also on all the previous version of Windows, the star button was at the bottom of the list, now it's at the top in Windows 10. Small but necessary change. One thing I've noticed though, that didn't make it into this version of Windows is the charms bar. Like when you bring your mouse to the top corner in the Windows 8 and then the PC sense shows up. This feature is not completely gone, but it's not here because of this new feature called Continuum, where the OS detects whether you're using a desktop, tablet, or phone and give you the correct set of features. One more thing about the start button, inside they revamp the search feature. It still searches your computer but it also searches the internet as well. But it uses Bing, so nah. Another thing that I've noticed about the start button is that when you press the Windows key on your keyboard, instead of bringing up the start screen, it does nothing. But I can't complain, this is a technical preview. Everything can change and will change. Now on to some good stuff. Snapping. A feature that I use a lot. Unlike its predecessor, you was only able to snap two things at a time. Now you're able to snap four things in a quadrant. Snapping became so easy and smooth, I like how it's being polished. Also an extra button they added to the taskbar. It's task view, it's just like when you press alt tab, only this time with a dedicated button and extra features, like showing you all the application you have opened up in the background and you can easily close them or reopen them like features on your phone. Also this button gives you the option to add a virtual desktop. The way this works is you have everything open on one workspace and you need to open some more applications. Instead of jamming everything on, on one workspace, you can open up a fresh, clean workspace. It's like having multiple monitors. Last thing I've noticed is that apps doesn't open up full screen anymore, which is great if you're a desktop user. The apps are treated like regular windows. Applications that can be resized, move around, and off minimize. One thing I would like to see is if they give you the ability to drag one application across one virtual desktop onto the other virtual desktop. And also I would like to see the ability to open up multiple instances of a program onto different virtual desktops. And I want to be able to change the background of each virtual desktop. I know you're listening Microsoft so I want to see these features added in. There are so many more features that comes with Windows 10 that makes it different from Windows 8 but that's just it. Those are just features. We're interested in seeing how this OS handles events that Windows 8 did a pretty bad job at. So over the couple weeks I'll be testing out this OS fully, playing games, running different programs, seeing how long it takes before this OS to reach its blue screen point. Microsoft hasn't released the time yet or price but I'll probably be getting the high seas discount, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to be the first to be a, get that discount as well. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can download the ISO file if you want to try this out for yourself. But I highly recommend not downloading this on your main computer because this is unfinished software. Download it on a dummy CPU or a spare or a virtual machine. Other than that, Windows 10 is looking pretty good and I can't wait to see the finished product. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.